Good morning, YouTube. Home Theater Joe here, a.k.a. MMA Joe, a.k.a. Joe Woody, whatever. Wear a few different hats these days. We really need to get into this HDMI arc situation post uh, update 3.23.15. Before we get into that, though, I would like to draw your attention very quickly to the black wall. Now, this wall <laughs> used to be the color of every other uh, room in the house or in this living room. We did turn it black at night. It's amazing. I just want to take a second to encourage you guys, if you have the opportunity or the option to do this, you should do it. I think it's super cool. Everyone in the family loves it. Um, now, let me get into a couple of quick shout outs. I uh, want to shout out to CG. Thank you, brother. And also, He Rock Hawkins. My man, thank you. Uh, Ye Rock educated me to the correct pronunciation. All right. So you're going to hear me talk about this guy, Ninjitian AV. Again, thank you, Ye Rock. Uh, Ninjitian AV is the correct pronunciation. I'm just going to refer to him as in AV. So if you guys hear me say in AV in the future, that's who I'm talking about. Ninjitian AV. Um, now, let me get to a quick question here from Mike Albert. Mike was asking about the stills. So how do we get to these stills? Let me just get off of this real quick. All right. Um, if you press your home button, Mike, you'll come to this menu here. And mine's actually, I guess, this number two slot. But you just press your art gallery. And, well, <laughs> mine came back up. Let, let me back. When you press your art gallery, that's what you're going to come to. Now, anything you don't have downloaded, and most of these are groups of photos, okay, anything you don't have downloaded will show up down here. All right? Like, this is uh, charming and co colorful. There's 13 uh, individual stills in here. Okay, these are different. Uh, obviously, masterpieces. There's 20, meditation break. But any of these you don't have downloaded will give you the option to. So... Um, and just to further demonstrate that point, let me back out of here, go back to this. I have art gallery set up on my quick access with my LG remote. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. I meant to turn that off. It's now the video. Now you can kind of see what the black wall does. Anyway, um, if I just press and hold six, my, my art gallery will pop on up and then I can hit boom. And there we go. All right. Now. Oh, we got to break into this HDMI arc issue post update. So, um, first of all, this is mainly in regards to the PS5. Uh, it occurs to me I need to do a standalone video on the PS5 and Xbox Series X, which, okay, I guess I'm going to have to do. Full disclosure, I do not own either series uh, or either console. I do own the Xbox Series X and PS4 Pro. I've been a lifelong PlayStation user up until a few years ago. Um, anyway, out of the weeds, back in the HDMI arc. So, this is what's working for me right now on my CX. First of all, you can see here, I'm, I'm always running HDMI arc. So, if we go to our sound mode, there's couple of things I want to point out here. Number one, I'm always in pass-through or auto. 99% of the time, I'm in pass-through, okay? And I don't have to go up here and mess with it. But if I'm having sound issues, I'll just go up here and hit auto. And it usually will correct that sound, okay? The only thing we really need the arc for is to return sound to our receiver. In my case, is a TSR 700, Yamaha TSR 700. But I always leave it on pass-through. Now, here's also an important distinction to be made. I don't use eARC. So, not only do I not have either one of the new console generations or a PC that can kick out that signal, honestly, those two consoles, they don't put out a native 4K signal anyway. Now, maybe the Xbox has a couple of games on there that can spit you out a native 4K signal. And it, wait, we're talking AAA here, okay, right? So, 
That listen, let me not get let me not get into that. I just don't believe ER is necessary right now. All right. The only thing that ER is really affording you with the ability to run 120 hertz is a lower input lag and obviously a higher refresh rate, which lowers the input input lag. All right. But if you own an Xbox Series X, you can trick the display into thinking that it's 120 hertz while not using the uh, eARC. So you're still at 4K 60, but the display believes you're at 120 hertz, so it runs that input lag. Little hack for the Xbox One X. Now, let's go back here. Let me go over to my home theater remote. And, uh, oh, wait a minute. Got to set this guy on home theater. And now we'll go set up. Okay, HDMI. HDMI control on. Standby through auto. 4K. I always leave it off. Standby sync off. Arc on. Okay, so this is what I've changed recently. Within the last, say, 20, 30 days, I used to not run arc. Now I run my arc on. All right? So that's important to note. Just kind of keep that in your mind. Now we're going to go back over here to the display remote. We will come over here to connection. All right. Device connection settings. Auto detection. I am currently leaving off. Now, while I don't like the simple link and I prefer to leave it off, I've found that leaving it on helps the HDMI switching problem that I have had. Um, also auto power sync needs to stay off. So these are all important things. Now, let me note one other thing, the LG C10, CX, whatever G1, uh, I own a C8 as well. The C8 and C10, they can handle whatever you throw at it. Believe you me, I, I'm having a hard time believing that it's the HDMI ports or, or the arc port or whatever that's messed up on the, on the displays themselves. Um, I more tend to think it's the, it's the signal coming in. So believe you me, I have thrown a whole lot of things at both my C8 and CX or C10 and have never had an issue. Um, I do have an HDMI switching issue with my Yamaha TSR 700. As you may or may, may not know, I'm a budget guy. It's a budget receiver. And I still have the option to send that receiver in months later, have the HDMI board fixed and sent back to me by Yamaha. I just don't do it because it's, I'm not mad at it. Okay, so anyway, sorry, kind of getting off on a little tangent there. Now, let's speak about some things that are going on in the comments section, okay? Uh, first, LG firmware updates. I want to say that you guys are, are obviously correct. When these updates come out, things can and do get messed up. For some users, most users, very little users, whatever the case may be. Um, for me, this has not affected my ARC port, my eARC port, or my HDMI 4 port, okay? And I run all four ports on this display. So, <clears throat> again, the only reason that ARC is, is really important is if you want to send a sound signal to a, a home theater system. And that doesn't require 4K 120, guys. The display can do 4K 120. Hence, you don't really need eARC enabled. Okay, you just don't, especially if you're running that Xbox Series X. Don't even worry about it. And I think a lot of these problems will be solved. Um, let me get, let me get back to the update thing. I have owned many, a, a display from all the manufacturers and I've been doing this home theater hobby thing my entire life. I can assure you LG will be f sending firmware updates out to their displays up to four years later. Okay. I don't see any other displays doing that out here. Furthermore, it is kind of a pain that you get so many firmware updates and that something could get misaligned or say get off or go wrong on you. 
But the fact that LG puts out as many updates as they do, firmware updates, is because they're listening to the community, the consumer that bought that display. Unlike, I don't know, certain other companies that I'm not going to name that just don't update their displays but still want you to pay top dollar for them or tell you that you're going to get updates that you're never going to receive. The reason I chose the CX above all was because I knew that it would be getting future firmware updates longer than any of the other displays. And I knew the capability of the display, specifically the connectivity. So if you're having problems with ER, guys, turn it off. All right. If, if all you're worried about is sending your sound from your internal display app to your, to your uh, home theater system, doesn't need to be in 4K 120. And if you want 4K 120, just run your display right to, or excuse me, run your console right to the display in any, uh, well, okay, if you want the sound, you run it to the eARC and then you just kick the sound back out. You know, so again, you can use the ARC and get your sound back out to the system without using 4K 120. Let's go over some other things in the comments section. So again, I'm thankful that LG does as many firmware updates as they do. Um, something else. Let's see a couple other things in the comments section. Well, no, I guess that's about it. Really. I think I went off on a little tangent there and said what I needed to say. Um, yeah, I, I really think that's about it. Um, I will hopefully do a separate standalone on, on the consoles and my opinions there. But, um, I am sorry for any of you people, any guys out there that have been having problems with your ARC, your eARC situation, or your HDMI 4. Please uh, try these uh, suggestions out here, and hopefully they'll help you. And I also want to encourage everybody, please, like, please leave your experience in the comment. Let me know, uh, good, bad, or indifferent, with the updates. Or if you agree or disagree with what I'm saying, listen, this we need to get as much information as we can because... LG makes the updates or any other display maker, they, they put out the update. It's up to the consumer to report the issues, to talk about what's going on. And then hopefully you're working with a company like LG Display that listens to that, that consumer report and tries to fix the issue. Um, so I would really appreciate it if you guys, like I said, good, bad, and different, please leave your comments below. Um, it is greatly appreciated. Uh, yeah. I think that about does it. Yeah, this video went a little longer than I wanted to, so I apologize for that. As always, thank you for listening. Be good. Be safe. Boom.